In this video we're going to look at how you can remove a certain number of characters from the end of a text string. So we're going to use the example here where we have four names and these are players in a football team and then what we have is their name with a space, a hyphen, another space and then the position that they play in. So GK for goalkeeper, CB for centre back, forward and left wing. So what we want to do is in these cells here, we want to get just their name. So J. Michaels, E. Smith, H. Johnson, B. Davis, without the additional characters at the end to specify their position. And to do that, we're going to use the formula up here, which is nice and simple and a quick one to use. So if we just write out left. Now we specify the text where, um, you know, the cell that has the text that we want to um, remove the last characters from. So here, A7. And then we open up a len formula. And what this does, we then select this cell again. This is counting the number of um, characters in this cell. And then what we're going to do is close this off and then do minus 5. And the reason we're doing minus 5 is because there's five characters at the end that we need to remove in order to keep these all consistent with just the name. So we've got one, two, a space, that's three, the hyphen, that's four, and then another space, that's five there. And that's the same across all of these. So even though the lengths of the names are different, because we've got this formula and the, the, the number of characters that are at the end is consistent, um, this formula is, is flexible enough to work across all these different names with different character lengths. And then we're just going to close this off. And you can see there we've got J Michaels, so we've removed the space hyphen space GK. And then if we just drag this down, you'll see it works for all of them. So now we've just got the name in there. So that's a really quick and simple formula to use when you want to remove a certain number of characters from the end of a text string. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.